All right, we're back nearly three days. Went to the car lot with my mom. Didn't get literally anything. Apparently, Star Rail drops a little something on Yun Lee. Kind of wanted to watch. I don't really know what to expect. Maybe we get some backstory on her, but we'll see what happens. Hey, you should definitely join the Discord. If you wanted to pull in a character, I I I'll help you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bless your account. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So just join, join the Discord. Introducing today's star, a girl known for her charmingly insensitive nature. She may be young, but she's already experienced the highs and lows of life. Born into a renowned Sienjo family of swordsmiths, her life took a tragic turn when her father forged a cursed Heliobus sword, which resulted in a tragedy that claimed her parents' lives. God damn. The f <laughs> it's gonna be like the fastest 20 seconds I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in a tragedy that claimed her parents' lives. Mm. Confronted with these drastic life changes, she accepted them with grace and determination. Dedicating herself to eliminating the cursed swords and atoning for her father's sins. Okay. She so she's kind of edgy. God damn. I'm kind of curious, actually. How old is she? 320 something swords. Parents died. This is going to be like some lolly shit where she's going to be like 2,000 years old or some shit, bro. Sometimes to a fault, and she loves food, fun, and swords. Introducing the talented and radiant young sword master, Yoon Lee. Yep, Yoon Lee. Physical destruction. Another talented sword master in Come on. Make somebody cool. Oh, Yun Xing. Oh, it's, it's Jingy ones. Yeah, right. fuck that guy. All youngsters raised by the Zienjo generals are just so charming. I think he's just dick eating. Let's calm it down now, Mr. Al. He's, he's, he's definitely just dick eating you, bro. Dial it back a little bit. These motherfuckers are paid to dick eat. All right, all right, now we're good. Yun Li is a physical type character following the path of destruction who stands out from the crowd with her massive sword. Going to the sword doesn't do it justice. It's huge, broad, and yep, and yep, definitely a big ass sword. Can effortlessly lift Wait, she made over two, like three hundred swords, and the sword she actually ended up using is one she made herself. Okay, if that's not or I don't know what it is. Lift the thou. Okay, all right. So now we're just capping. Now we're just lying. I mean, this is okay. Never mind. It's, it's fucking star real, bro. Her strength is definitely impressive. But when it comes <laughs> he said that he said that like so underwhelmingly bro <laughs> yeah she could look that's definitely really good i mean definitely not higher than her competitors but yeah well i mean we'll see what happens maybe one day she'll break out of the leash you know we'll see what happens not just about brute strength when using her basic attack Yuli moves with her sword dealing physical damage based on her attack to the target enemy when using her skill Yuli charges her sword and throws it with great force Restoring a portion of her HP based on mm. attack, and deals a heavy blow, causing physical damage to the target and adjacent enemies based on her attack. Yeah. This sword can also be used as a boomerang. Any normal person. It's just a big ass sword, and she made it. So I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised. But considering old metal is sacrificing speed for inertia, it's a. Uh, what the fuck is inertia? Energy, I guess. Oh, metal. That's yeah, that's the name, bro. Okay, this owl does not pay attention whatsoever. Thanks to you, Lee's talent. She regenerates energy after getting hit and counters immediately. She swings old metal to hit the attacker and adjacent enemies. You have to fall attack. Based on her attack. That's what I call payback. Yun Lee doesn't hold grudges. She's quick to resolve things. Hmm. What I mean is... I mean, when you have a, th a like a thousand pound sword, there's really not much of what you can do. If you talk shit, she's going to throw a thousand pound sword at you, bring it back to herself, and then gain HP from it, bro. That's just broken, broken. You don't want to fight her. You just, you're, you're done. When Yu Li uses her ultimate, Yun Li feigns retreat. This is the big ass sword. This taunts all enemies until the end of the next unit's turn. Wait. It seems like this battle ready stance is more powerful than the defensive one just now. Bro, she's so small. This sword covers her entire body, bro. You could put this shit down and you wouldn't be able to see her, bro. That's crazy. Oh my god, bro. That shit is so good. Adjacent targets based on her attack, but also hits a random enemy multiple times with physical damage based on her attack. So yeah. she's all attack. If Yun Li is an attack during the parry state, she will use into its slash on the enemy when the parry state ends. Okay. Deals physical damage so she can do it more than once. Adjacent targets based on her attack. Okay. Into a coal and into a slash. I'm guessing that's her attack names. Ultimate damage. Maybe just me being dumb. But what is the difference between ultimate damage and like normal damage? Because if it scales directly off of her attack anyway, I don't really. Yeah, I just be being dumb. I guess I don't fucking know. This is completely opposite to my style of using a light sword. 
You two have such distinct approaches to sword fighting. Mm -hmm. really Hers is better than yours. If you two do Little bro. For a few rounds, Don't compare. Who would win? Uh, Yun Lee would. Me? No, you wouldn't. Uh, but uh, who can say for sure until we get in the ring? <laughs> Not taking the bait, huh? Yeah, take the bait, bro. I don't know what the bait was. I mean, it was a dog shit joke, to be honest, but... Hey, I'm not Aiden. I just hated. Fuck. Ward. Okay, I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this whenever I saw it during the live stream. So, she has to use her ability. They only showed the part where she got attacked. Like, she has to get attacked during the time, but, like, it kind of seems like a little time difference there. It's kind of pointless but uh if you can attack her now i mean that, that's phenomenal i mean that's just more of a reason to like her to be honest uh-huh boosted it hey you like that <laughs> like that on countering rather than speed that's all that's way too heavy i'm not surprised it can't move quickly over a thousand pounds yeah suggested she lighten her sword a bit no don't do that i didn't appreciate the sword's personality True. True. Yangshin, you are little bro. All right, like get, get those little ass swords out of here, bro. You're definitely not compensating for anything, little bro. All right, she's got it. All right, you, you don't need to interfere with her life, okay, buddy? Get out. Get the fuck out of here, bro. In conclusion, as a character following the path of destruction, Yun Li's core mechanic lies in her three counter attacks: her talent counter, into a slash, and into a call. Wait, there's three di <laughs> there's three different okay, man, I'm not taking this information whatsoever. There's three different types of ultimates. Okay. The last is the strongest of the three, so it makes sense in real combat situations to ensure Yun Li is attacked before her ultimate's parry state ends in order to trigger into a call and enhance her team's overall damage. Wait, so she buffs the team's damage while also well she's okay, so she's made to be like a sub DPS type shit. But we'll see what happens. Now into some real combat. To gain a deeper understanding of how to trigger into a call, Malefic Ape strikes first, targeting Yun Li. She immediately counters, fully charging her ultimate energy. Oh my. That our allies and then the enemy will take their actions first. Although Yun Li is ready to use her ultimate, it's timing. Will Unless I have Branya. <laughs> you have to time it oh no this might not be good for me bro i'm an auto demon uh oh she ults again oh so you can use it halfway and half okay that hey that's actually cool as fuck though that is interesting. Oh my god. She's just she's just slamming you with a thousand pound sword over and over and over again, bro. This shit is just devious, bro. Don't provoke any sword masters, especially little ones who don't wear any shoes. As long as I'm around, he'll be perfectly safe. <laughs> mm, no, I won't, bro. Bro, she's gonna swipe that thousand pound sword on your fucking face. You're gonna try to block it with that te teeny weeny peeny ass sword. It's gonna fucking shatter. You little fucking pipsqueak. If you two took on an apprentice, I bet one of you would train him hard, while the other would look after them, right? No, I. No, no, no. Me as a trailblazer would would look after them, you know. As the trailblazer, of course, because you guys can't do anything. Because when you guys say you guys are going to train them, you're just lying. There's going to be an event where I have to make their training routine. I'd have to do that. You guys are. You, why are you stunting out for? You don't need a lie. I, I, I got it. You don't need a lie. It's good, bro. Really worried. <laughs> worried you why? Is gonna be too hard on them. Well, my main worry is that our training styles clash. Mm -hmm. How so? Yun Li wants the apprentice to do 50 sets of strength exercises and run three miles every day. Mm. I prefer 10 sets of strength exercises and 15 miles of cardio. 15 miles, God dang him. Our apprentice is arriving soon and we haven't finalized our training plan. Uh, okay. So instead of me doing the work, it's going to be you two fighting and then I have to intervene because I'm the only adult here and everybody else is, chill, is a child. Or maybe it's because I'm a trailblazer in the first place. Maybe that's why. Why not meet halfway to combine your training techniques? Do not. Uh, uh, Mr. Albert, you're absolutely right. There's no way they haven't thought about that. There's no way they haven't thought about that. Okay. I mean, yeah, he's a genius, bro. Oh, Alicia, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a mountain in the desert. <laughs> Thank you, bro. No one's ever thought about that. Thank you, bro. Wait, go back. Yeah, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. 
Oh, that's it. Well, that was pretty short. Throw sword ratio. Throws chalk. My mom throws slipper. What the fuck are these comments? Our barefoot battle. They are both barefoot. Fuck, I need to find her feet. Oh, it looks like a fucking creep. Look right there. Yeah, I'm a creep for sure. Well, this one was kind of a shorter one, but, uh, you know what? Thank you guys for 300. Okay, bye-bye now.